Health Alliance has always been a driver of value in care delivery, but in 2019, we've started a complete transformation of our capabilities to support value-based care in even greater ways and improve outcomes for our members and patients. As we look across what we do in the healthcare system, whether it's for population health or whether it's how we bill people or how we provide any type of service, we really need to look at, are we providing value? Is this adding to the health care of the individuals that we're taking care of. As we are getting higher and higher volumes of patients, we have to do a better job so that we can accommodate all those patients and that we're not just saying, here's a prescription, good luck, but that we're really providing them the full care that they need. We focus on improving outcomes, improving quality uh, measures, uh, making sure gaps in care are addressed, and really ensuring that uh, patients' needs are being met in a more holistic uh, way. This is Kathy. In a healthcare plan, she's looking for affordability and convenient access to care. She wants seamless scheduling and a supportive care team. Kathy has chosen Health Alliance because with offices near her home, Health Alliance will support her as she works with her doctor to get the care she needs. After enrolling, a customer service representative reaches out to Kathy to help her find a primary care physician to assess her medical needs. Because she's a new member, Health Alliance runs Kathy's information through its analytics platform, and a composite risk scoring tool identifies her needs today and those projected down the road. The new algorithm prioritizes members and patients with the greatest needs. It's a proactive model using more data points to unlock various avenues to care, so Kathy has an experience tailored to her. Having that day-to-day -day experience with our patients allows us to keep them in our focus when we're looking at processes or administrative decisions organizationally. That journey looks something along the lines of a patient coming in to see their physician and at the end of that we have a team of healthcare professionals here that we can really link you with and then that patient goes and talks to that care coordinator. It's aligning them with maybe follow-up specialty care that they need. Um, this type of model takes all those resources that are available at both the provider level and the health plan level and coordinates them for the patient. After Kathy gets the test results from her primary care physician, she schedules a virtual check-in with her health coach and her pharmacist at the same time. She gets her prescriptions filled on the spot and schedules care for her most pressing needs. So we're really trying to simplify that process so that you have better contacts between the patients and the clinicians, take some of the bureaucracy out of that to drive those outcomes for the patients and our members. They really want to be able to get to their care points in a manner that suits them. Patient-centered, perhaps physician-led, but at the end of the day, improving that value statement that we talked about. We call it a transformation, you can call it all sorts of things. At the end of the day, it's healthcare is about relationships.